in the third part we will discuss the density of states in one two and three dimensional material so first of all we should know what is density of states so the density of states de is the derivative of the number of energy states n with respect to the energy e that means the number of energy states having same energy level e so de is equal to dn de and the corresponding number of energy states which have same energy level is called degenerate states and sometimes we consider the density of states ge per unit volume of the crystal that means ge is equal to 1 by v dn de so in the following we will consider the density of states of a free electron gas that is spatially confined so density of states of a three dimensional electron gas this occurs for example in metals the density of states can be used to determine the charge carrier density in the metal and density of state of two dimensional electron gas this occurs in 2d materials such as graphene silicon germanium or in the quantum hall effect and the density of states of a one dimensional electron gas it is for 1d materials like nanotubes nanowires etc now we will discuss the density of states in two dimensional electron gas so density of states is defined as the how many available states an electron with a certain energy can occupy so in the in this figure this is the in the reciprocal lattice space and k is the reciprocal lattice vector so in the reciprocal 2d space the smallest reciprocal area a1 occupied by one single state is equal to a1 is equal to 2 pi square by a a is the area of a real two dimensional crystal lattice so real lattice is the fourier transform of reciprocal lattice so direct lattice is l x l y and k x k y are the wave vectors in reciprocal space this is inversely uh, inversely uh, proportional to the direct lattice that is l x l y so k x is equal to 2 pi by l x so l x is the in the direct lattice in real space and k x is the wave vector in reciprocal space this the k k space or reciprocal space is a imaginary space this is the fourier transform of direct space now to find out the 2d density of states according to the definition we must find out first that available a number of available energy states that is n prefix 2d that means number of energy states in the two dimensional electron gas so in the most cases however the exact number of energy states is not known we can determine it however in if in addition to equation 1 we provide a reciprocal area an occupied by these n states so since the energy states are very close to each other we can approximate that the reciprocal area an occupied by the energy states n by a circular area and the each circle inside of this circular area is a line of constant energy why because the distance from the coordinate origin to all the k values on the circle line is given by the radius k so the area of the circle with radius k is an is equal to pi k square to find out the number of energy states n we have to find out how often the area a1 fits into the an so n the number of energy states in two dimension that is n 2d equal to an by a1 so that is a by 4 pi k square and we know that the electrons have a spin spin up and spin down 
So, not only one stays fit into the area A1, but two electrons must occupy that states. That is why the energy number of energy states N2D is equal to 2 into A pi by A by 4 pi R k square that is A by 2 pi k square. Now, we have determined the number of energy states, but it is as a function of wave number k. So, we need a number of energy states expressed by energy E that is dE is equal to d n d e. So, only then we can differentiate the number of energy states with respect to the energy. So, to express the number of states using the energy, we need to know the energy and the wave number k relation and this is re this relation is known by dispersion relation E k. So, depending on the system it can be linear in k, quadratic in k or have a complicated form that can be determined, determined by the experiment. So, for a electron gas the following quadratic dispersion relation holds that is E k is equal to all, all of you know that h cut square k square by 2 m. So, k is equal to root over 2 m e by h cut square. So, we can put this value that n number of energy states in 2 d a equal to a by 2 pi bracket 2 root over 2 m e by h cut square whole square. So, this is a by 2 pi 2 m e by h cut square. So, for density of states we just d n d e and this is a m by pi, r pi r h cut square that is constant. So, in the two dimensional electron gas the density of states is constant with respect to the energy. Now, we will find out the density of states in three dimensional electron gas or metals. So, similarly in the reciprocal space now we can draw a Fermi sphere uh, in a Fermi wave vector k f is as the radius. So, the smallest reciprocal volume in reciprocal lattice space is for a single state v1 is equal to 2 pi whole cube by v where v is the volume of direct lattice space and the reciprocal volume for a sphere occupied by the number of energy states in three dimension that is vn is equal to 4 third pi k cube. Here the number wave number k is the radius of the 3D sphere and v is the volume of real crystal lattice. Now we will get the number of energy states that is analogous to the two dimensional case by calculating the ratio of the reciprocal volumes and number of energy states in 3D three dimensional system that is Vn by V1 which is V by 6 pi square V k cube by 6 pi square. Now we have to uh, we have to uh, take uh, account, take into the uh, into account the spin of the electrons by multiplying two factor. So that is v n 3d is equal to v k cube by 3 pi square. And similarly, we just uh, put the value of k in terms of energy, and then we for evaluating density of states we just we have just taken the dnd and uh, determine the density of states differentiate the number of energy states with respect to the energy dnd so the density of states is equal to the constant into root e that means the in three dimensional electron gas the density of states with respect to energy is proportional to root over e now we will discuss the what is the density of states for one dimensional electron gas or material. So, here a single state occupies the following reciprocal length that is L1. So, that is only 2 pi by L. L is the direct lattice vector. So, L is the length of a one dimensional system for a quantum ware or nano ware or nano tube etc. in which there is a free electron gas and the uh, one dimensional system n number of energy states for 1d 
states take the following reciprocal length that is ln is equal to 2k. So, why 2k? Because k is the radius and the 2k is the diameter of the circle. So, n1d is equal to lk by pi. So, this is uh, now we just write, out, write down the k as a function of energy and then we just determine the density of states by differentiating the number of energy states with respect to the energy similarly uh, similar for 3D and 2D cases. So, the density of energy states is varying with respect to energy is 1 by root over E. So, we in this lecture we have just find out the density of states uh, that is occupying by electrons in 1D, 2D and 3 dimensional material. Thank you. Thank you.